That game means nothing. The, the schedule game means nothing in a season where we've watched the Jets beat the Titans, in a season where we watch the Jags beat the Bills, in a season where every single week we have no idea what version of teams. We just saw the Lions beat the Cardinals, and now we're going to say there's a must-win game because of remaining schedule? Remaining schedule is a, is a bad argument this year because nobody knows what's coming every single week. I would have to disagree with you, Fitz. Uh, I, I think this is an, a very important game for both teams, but I'm going to start with the Patriots. Uh, with the Patriots, if they win this football game, just say right now they're, they're, they're third in the AFC. If they win this football game, they move to second. Say the Kansas City Chiefs lose their game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. That would now bump the New England Patriots to the number one seed in the AFC because their conference record right now is 7-2. and two. They would have the better conference record. Plus, they beat the Titans head to, in a head-to-head -head matchup. I think having home field advantage in the playoffs uh, in New England, I think that is important. Uh, having a first-round bye uh, would be very important to this New England Patriots football team because that's just one less game that you have to play. So I think this is a must win for the New England Patriots. Now, when you look at the Buffalo Bills, you look, the Buffalo Bills, they're trying to stay afloat. They're trying to stay ahead of water right now. We presume that the Dolphins would be an easy out for the Patriots or that the Jags would be an easy out for the Patriots. I just can't presume that this year because as my bank account will tell you, every time I presume something about the NFL this year, put a little cash on it, all of a sudden I just get kicked in the no-no places. Like We live in a world where I can watch uh, the, the Raiders come out and beat incredibly hard teams like the Ravens and beat incredibly, uh, incredibly big wins against teams like the Cowboys on Thanksgiving, and then I can watch them lay an egg against bad teams. Like There's so, so little predictability in this year's NFL. To me, what what you just said for the Chiefs, I can make a case for why the Chiefs will lose all three of their remaining games, the Steelers, the Bengals, and the Broncos. I can also make a case why the Chiefs will win all three of their remaining games, the Steelers, the Bengals, and the Broncos. And between COVID and injuries and then just the fact that for whatever reason this year, there are times that teams just don't show. Like you and I work a lot in college football. This was the weirdest year I've ever seen in college football because we had no damn clue. Every I single agree. Saturday we're sitting there, we're like, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, what we did know is that most likely Georgia and Alabama were going to win. About everything else, kind of up in the air, right? You know, that's how I feel about the NFL this year. Like, there's just, there's nothing safe, nothing predictable. So the concept that one game holds more weight than any others doesn't work for me because, frankly, you can't afford to have any slip-ups anymore. Well, I'm going to say this. It's not that we're saying that this game outweighs another. We're saying that this is the next game. This is the game that's right now. And on any given day, the worst team in the National Football League can beat the best team in the National Football League if you don't come out there and show up and ready to play. That's evident. That's been proven over numerous of years. Right now, the next game is the New England Patriots versus the Buffalo Bills. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.